is up everybody uh it's me kb chronic again they got a lot we got a lot going on on the show or on the stream um like a whole whole lot uh the hardcore title is on the line as you can see on your screen the heavyweight title is on the line because it's yuri day uh, that's not just his name um he actually earned a spot to challenge for both titles in one night uh he could come out of here the double champ he could come out of here with nothing and they just have a good showing. So we'll we'll see uh, what he manages in this match. Or in these matches, rather. Uh, his first match is against uh, Jimmy Teller. As you can see right there, the hardcore champion. If you missed the uh, birthday episode for Kid Mason, that was Friday night. Um, if you missed that... Yuri Day, or not Yuri Day, uh, Jimmy Teller actually had a rematch against uh, VX and decisively won the Hardcore Championship back. Uh, two out of three falls, he got two back-to-back -back with the quickness. Um, I, don't, I don't know if he was just feeling it that night or if he just wasn't feeling it the night he lost the title, but he did a damn good job recapturing his gold. And uh, we'll see if he can actually hang on to it. Then we have uh, a triple threat match between Citizen Z, a new individual here in INCW, uh, Green Bastard, and Sundrop17. Um, we're going to have a couple of masked green cape crusaders in here throwing down one another. So that should be uh, interesting to say the least. And then a gray end of it. I've never seen someone with an entire gray body. So that, that I don't, I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, I'm told that Citizen Z is from something. Uh, if you know what it's from, hey, cool, awesome. Let everybody know in the chat. If you don't know what it's from, welcome to the rest of us. Uh, let's see. Then we have a six-man tag. It was supposed to be the Resistance versus the Camp, um, but with a title match. I didn't want there to be any type of oh well, Info Warrior lost because of this, Info Warrior lost because of that. I don't, I don't, I don't want anything like that uh, from the champ side of things. I'm not saying he would. I'm saying I don't want the possibility to be there. Uh, I know it's it's kind of a uh, oh, what do you call it? I forget. It, it 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 sounds like I'm not being fair to Yuri, but Yuri knew what he was signing up for whenever he started doing all this. Um, when Yuri entered the tournament to see who was going to be my protege, uh, when Yuri fought BTS in the All or Nothing Iron Man match, Yuri knew what he was looking for, like what was going to be coming his way in all of this. Uh, I'm not going to blindside the champ like that. Uh, but we do have the Asylum who lost their tag titles, I might add. But we'll get to that in a minute. The Asylum versus the camp. The Cold Bloods lost their tag titles to a new team called the Alliance, which is Kid Mason and Wise Man Shade. So just just let that sink in for a minute. Kid Mason and Shade are your new INCW tag team champions. Once again, if you did not tune in for the birthday episode, you need to go to the YouTube channel and watch it right now. That's it's very, very imperative that you go do this. Uh, and then we have Yuri Day versus Info Warrior for the INCW Heavyweight Championship. Uh, keep in mind, all of these matches are championship rules. So it's two out of three falls. Um, that's, that's how we're going to get our winner. And then for our main event, I know you're wondering why Yuri Day isn't one of the main events. Because we already had a main event, and I honestly didn't expect to miss like two weeks of streaming because of a hurricane. This main event is the finals of the INCW Women's Tag Tournament. Uh, I was going to be just starting a tag team division with titles and everything like that. But I don't... I just didn't have time to sit down and make titles. And it honestly kept slipping my mind. I, I don't... I don't know if I'm going to be doing a women's tag division this season, but there is a possibility come like the next go round for next season or whatever. Um, but yeah, that, either way, one of these two teams is going to 
finish this tag tournament the best women's tag team out there, which is crazy because th this is n these are not the two teams I expected to be up here. I expected at least uh, Queen Jolene and Carly Lynn, the baddies, to be up there, or Thunder and Lightning with Lady Lunder, uh, Lady Lunder, Lady Lightning and Big Thunder. Um, that's what I figured was going to be up there, but they're not. Uh, so we've got three former women's champions up there, and then a woman who puts Betty Blackwell to shame as far as like size and physicality. So that's got a lot going on here. Um, but yeah, we're actually starting to get people in the chat. Uh, feel free to discuss things with one another, uh, cuss each other out, cuss me out, cheer me on, cheer other people on, don't care what you do. Um, we're going to get this show on the road right about now. Is it going to be Yuri Day? Are we going to have a new hardcore champion just 48 hours after Jimmy Teller won it back? Or is Jimmy Teller going to go back on his rampage to where he holds the title for a long time? All right, we got JoJo. Poor JoJo. Poor, poor JoJo. Sitting in the center of the ring. Microphone don't work. She don't know no better. She does her best, though. She does her best. I really appreciate her coming out. She don't have to. Oh, here comes Yuri Day. What flag is that? Don't know what flag that is. I know it's not the American flag. Uh, for those of you who may not remember, uh, Yuri is actually from St. Petersburg, Russia. That's right. We got a Russian in INCW. We represent all countries here in INCW, for no matter where you're from. He is swinging the hell out of that flag. I know that's not the Russian flag that he's swinging, though. That can't be. But he is billed from Russia. All right. And he has his street fighting attire on. He is actually ready for a hardcore match. That's that's a breath of fresh air. Will he will Yuri Day be able to stand up to two opponents tonight though? And here comes Jimmy Teller. With the explosions. It... You got to think VX is in the back. Keeping a close eye on this match. Maybe trying to pick a spot to come out here and jump Jimmy Teller. So, I got this water bottle, and I put ice in it to keep my water cold. And the ice never fails to get right in the way of the spout. So, it takes forever to actually... At least till everything melts down. So, if I go quiet for long amounts of time... Uh, last week, whenever I was calling matches, uh, I ended the show, was quiet for a little bit. Uh, Jimmy kind of deserves it. Um... When I, I was a little bit quiet after the show and everything, and then when I finally started talking again, I had blown my voice out. So I'm trying to stay completely hydrated, so I get uh, uh, I, I stay 
not blowing my voice out, I guess is the best way to put it. All right. Yuri Day definitely has the size and reach advantage over uh, Jimmy Teller here. Probably got the age advantage as well. Jimmy Teller, more of your uh, your high flyer. Your, uh, uh, what do you call it? Not necessarily a high flyer, but more of like the modern era of wrestling. Um, kind of the big spots. Flies all over the place. Life and limb style wrestler. Yuri, more of a striker. He'll get in there and do some grappling, but he's more like just to hit you hard, hit you fast. bell here we go oh yuri looking for that collar and elbow tie up jimmy looking to take yuri down and it didn't work yuri just launched him away like i said size and strength look at yuri yuri with the flippy stuff oh with the clubbing blows to the back and then push-ups full disrespect to jimmy teller Yuri again has Jimmy up and a scoop slam drops him straight down. Jimmy looking for any type of advantage he can get. He went for the single leg right out the gate and has been in trouble ever since. Yuri with the vertical. Caught the vertical suplex, goes for the stomp. the midsection and a flipping neck breaker by Jimmy Jimmy with the side headlock and the handstand into the neck breaker again or into the neck lock again Whoa, no just not even a one count not even a one count Jimmy went for a kick Yuri stopped him Yuri has him up on his shoulders and the airplane spin Old school airplane spin at its finest and then drops Jimmy straight down. Jimmy wisely rolls outside the ring. Goes for the stick and move approach yet again. Sends Yuri into the corner. Oh! With the high knee right to the face. And a big elbow drop. At the side headlock, Yuri giving Jimmy a little taste of his own medicine. Goes for the pin. One, no, just a one count. Jimmy trying to get the better of him, takes Yuri outside here. with the forearm shot. Drop kick right to the chest. Yuri didn't move. Yuri rolls through with the sunset. Got the pin on the outside. One, two. Oh, Jimmy rolls through. No, with the kick out. Elbow to Jimmy and a clothesline sending him right into the ring apron. Falls count anywhere in this hardcore championship contest. Jimmy got the legs around the head with the reverse airplane spin. Jimmy going up top now. And a flying to the outside lands on his feet. What's it? Is he going for it again here? Goes again. Tries to get Yuri to stand up. Yuri's on his way. Tries to catch it. Oh, moved out of the way. Went for that hurricane runner to the outside. Yuri saw it coming. Couple of right hands. Oh, Yuri with the rotating forearm. Face first into the post.
Yuri has him in the corner. Couple of headbutts. Yuri's been watching some Jimmy tape because he's giving Jimmy a taste of his own medicine right here. Line it up for that drive by drop kick and bust Jimmy wide open. Jimmy is busted wide open. Yuri goes for the pin here. One, two, three. Yuri gets the first pinfall. Yuri gets the first pinfall. Jimmy is busted open. We may have a new hardcore champion here. Yuri, oh! And a knee, sliding knee right to the midsection. Jimmy now, Jimmy lighting Yuri up, showing him how it's done. Jimmy with the drop kick. Goes for the pin here. One, two, no, Yuri gets his shoulder up. Yuri had his shoulders up. Jimmy taking some time to dance for the crowd. Big clothesline. And another one. Surprise, these are taking Yuri off his feet. Oh, not by that one. Kick right to the point of the chin. Yuri firing back with a forearm shot. That's Jimmy up with the back body drop and the kip up. Yuri got the shake, rattle and roll, elbow drop. Drops another elbow right to the point of the chest of the young champion. Ooh, leg drop right to the nether regions. Has him by the chin. Nope. Jimmy fights his way out and goes right after the legs. Trying to take Yuri off his feet and sends him to the outside. Ooh, with a big headbutt by Yuri. Jimmy dodges the punch and catches the drop or catches him with a drop kick, I should say. The referee not in position here. Jimmy! Going for that spring or that uh, standing 450 splash. Got the pin here. One, two, no, just a two count. The referee trying to stay out of harm's way. Definitely can't go for the pin if you get taken out. Ooh. And again with the elbow. Ooh, and another elbow shot. Yuri had a hold of Jimmy, and Jimmy with a kick to the knee, finally taking the big man down. Working over the arm. Goes for the pin here. One, two, no. Has him up and drops him right back down. Yuri has him up. Dropped him face first. Jimmy right across the ring apron. The fans are going wild for Yuri. Jimmy fighting back with everything he can, trying to get it back in the ring. His style benefits the ring a little bit more here. Went for the kick and missed. Yuri, look like he missed that clothesline right there. Jimmy went for the drop kick, missed all of it. Caught a forearm shot and a right hand. Clubbing blow to the back of the head. Yuri has Jimmy set up in the corner. What's he going for here? Oh, the ref needs to move. And again, big Irish whip into the opposite corner. What is Yuri thinking here? Just throwing him back and forth. I guess he's trying to get him winded. I, I don't know. We are in a just loop of vicious tosses. Jimmy fights his way out. And Yuri back to his feet here. 
Jimmy wisely letting go. Oh, looking for something there. Got him again, but Jimmy fights free. Jimmy with a headlock. Front face lock, rather. They have went back and forth. Jimmy has it locked in with a Destino. Goes for the pin. No rope breaks in a hardcore match. One, two, no. Yuri kicked out at two. Yuri kicked out at two. Jimmy going for those kicks again. Ooh. Nice roundhouse. Goes for the pin. One, two, three. Jimmy gets his first fall. We are at one and one. Will Yuri be able to capitalize or will Jimmy retain? Goes for the kick and Yuri sweeps the leg. Oh, with a jawbreaker, nice counter. Kick to the midsection, rings the arm through and a heel to the face. This is some back and forth action. Yuri Day in his official INCW signed debut. That's right, he wasn't even a member of the roster until after he beat BTS. All right, this might be all she wrote. On the outside, Jimmy's gonna go, maybe go for the pin right here. If the ref is in position, that might be all she wrote. One, two, three, and Jimmy Teller retains. A hard-fought victory. Will Yuri Day be able to keep that momentum going? I mean, I know he lost, but that still was a house of fire that he came out of there like. So, will he be able to continue that over into uh, his match with the Info Warrior? Jimmy, always shocked that he's the champion. That Jimmy doesn't have a lot of fans. Uh, Jimmy don't necessarily have a lot of fans, but the fans he has, and the 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 what he's been through to get where he is. It's, uh, it's actually some pretty interesting stuff. All right, we are on to our next match. We have triple threat action as uh, Citizen Z, Green Bastard, and Sundrop17 compete in triple threat action. I know I already said that once, but I didn't know what else to say right there. Um... I think people out there have been waiting for a triple threat match, or been waiting for a match between Green Bastard and Sundrop. Um, I don't, I can see why, but at the same time, and you know, it's, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Maybe, maybe they'll put on a great match, maybe they won't, um, just <laughs> on a, on principle. I guess people just want to see green versus green. I I don't know, man. For those of you who don't know, uh, just look up Trailer Park Boys. Or not even Trailer Park Boys. Just look up Green Bastard on net, on uh, Google. And you'll you'll see who he is. He's he's well known internationally. He's he's been all around North America. Right, so if you're a subscriber, there's now a Miles emote. It's a cat. Oh, oh wow, and and a and a Patrick emote. It's 
that a Patrick emote? That is a professional emote. There's fire in the background. That makes sense. <laughs> that is a professional emote. Oh my god. But how about, how about that Miles emote though? Look at that. Miles, back when I drank, Miles was my drinking buddy. And I know there's going to be people in the chat going, man, why are you drinking with a cat? Um, <laughs> wow, I was wondering why it sucked. <laughs> um, yeah, Miles... I, I drank with a cat because one time I made sausage and potatoes and I had a beer and then I spilled the beer and Miles the cat came up and, and drank the puddle of beer. So at that point we just kind of became drinking buddies. I cleaned most of it up but he was there. Alright, we got Citizen Z. Making his INCW debut. Thinks he's fancy with us all yellow. The Battle of the Rejects. I don't know I don't know what else to say about Citizen Z the man's gray like he's void of color he looks like he's out of a black what is what is it with people coming to the ring and taking all of their clothes off Sun drop, 17. We have the Green Bastard versus a man void of color versus the Nectar of the Gods. Look at Green Bastard. That's a fat boy, I tell you what. And he is throwing hands immediately with Citizen Z. Oh! Sundrop with the sneak! Sundrop with the high reach legs! Oh! But Green Bastard caught him with the lariat! Green Bastard, the last man standing. Citizen Z fighting back. It looks like everyone in this match has lost a lot of weight. And Green Bastard found it. Big judo toss by Green Bastard. Sun drop. Pander into the crowd. And Green Bastard with the German off the top rope. 
Big kick. Oh, Citizen Z with the sneak. Big drop kick. Citizen Z didn't go down. Oh, and a big thrust kick. Citizen Z still didn't go down. Wait for that super kick. Now Green Bastard pandering to the crowd. Citizen Z focus on Sundrop. And Northern Light suplex. Citizen Z with another Northern Light suplex to Green Bastard. Goes for the pin here. One pinfall to a finish. No, not even a one count. Oh, they're throwing hands with Green Bastard. Has a hold of it. Oh, no. Sundrop doing a little hopscotch over there. Oh, the stroke. The stroke by Citizen Z steps through and goes right after the leg. I thought he was going to follow the stroke up with an iconic figure four. Goes for the pin. No. Sundrop has him up. Oh, that, there was a lot going on right there, but it looked like a full Nelson face buster. Knee to the face. Sundrop and Green Bastard. The dream match that nobody dreamt. Green Bastard with a neck breaking. Goes for the pin. One. No, just a one count. Sundrop has Green Bastard. Taking him. Oh! Out of nowhere. Sundrop with the swing and neck breaker. Green Bastard. Sundrop with a flip. Green Bastard popped up extra quick. Oh! Japanese arm drag. And Sundrop sending Green Bastard to the outside. Is he going to focus on Green Bastard or is he going to stay focused? Uh, nope. Going after... Waste of time. Waste of absolute time. Citizen Z back to his feet. Big forearm shot. Has him in a side headlock. And Sundrop. Oh, spine buster by Citizen Z. Goes for the pin and Green Bastard's in to break it up. Green Bastard and Citizen Z staring each other down. Kick to the midsection. Oh, Green Bastard with a big right hand. Huge right hand. Oh, looking for that rock bottom. Oh, Superman punched by Citizen Z. Kick to the midsection. Drop. With the code drop. I don't know what to actually call that, so I'm just going to call it the code drop. A springboard over the top. Looking for some high-flying flippiness. Oh, six-star! Six-star, six-star drop from the top rope. Hop, drop, drop, hop, I don't know. Good Lord, look at all them revolutions he got right there on Green Basket. I don't know if he did that because of athletic ability or because the orbit that Green Basket generates. to the back. Citizen Z has dropped. And a powerbomb stacking him up. One, two. Oh, rolls into a Boston Crab. Green Bastard breaks it up. Kick to the midsection. Green Bastard has Citizen Z. Green Bastard's up on Citizen Z's shoulders. And hung him out to dry. Goes for the pin and drop breaks it up. Sun drop in just in time to break it up. Sun Green Bastard back to his feet with a leaping lariat. Goes for the pin. One, two, no. Only a two count. Green Bastard with the backbreaker on the Sundrop. Goes for the pin here. 
One, two, no, just, just a two count. Green Bastard might be trying to remove the mask of Sundrop, reveal who it is, who is the secret identity of Sundrop and the Green Bastard. Snap suplex. Backdrop by Citizen Z. Might be going for the pin here. Yep, has the pin on Sundrop. One, two, no, Sundrop kicks out at two. Citizen Z trying to steal it. Arm drag creates some space. Sundrop didn't take enough breather. Got dropped with a neck breaker. Everyone is just standing around now. Green Bastard kicks Citizen Z in the gut. Has him up. Oh, with the rock bottom by the Green Bastard. Goes for the pin. One, two, no. Just a two count. There are no rope breaks in a triple threat match. We do not need a man with his own orbit and a gray dude to win this match. Sundrop, wake the hell up. Sundrop. Oh! With the attitude adjustment to Green Bastard. And again! Attitude adjustment to Green Bastard. Kick to the midsection of Citizen Z. And a swinging neck breaker. Drop! With the backflip, goes for the pin on Citizen Z. One. No, just a one count. He needs to go for the pin on Green Bastard, who is still laid out. Green Bastard showing some signs of life. Trap goes for the pin and gets broken up by Green Bastard. Sweeps the leg. Green Bastard steps over into the Boston Crap and for some reason he stopped. Goes for the pin. One, two, no, only a two count. Big drop kick to the chest. Citizen Z sends drop to the outside. Citizen Z, I don't know what he's doing right now. There are no pinfalls or submissions on the outside. You can't, you can't win it out there. Just uh, to let everybody know. And sends him across. Vertical suplex. Green Bastard. Goes for the pin here. One, no. Not even a one count. Oh, Green Bastard with a stunner. Green Bastard with a stunner on Citizen Z. One, two. Oh, he almost walked away with it. Kick to the midsection. Oh, sweep of the leg. Drop to oh, and a big boot to the face of Green Bastard. This match is going on much longer than I thought it would. Drop going for the pin here. One, two, and oh! Almost a three. Thought that was all she wrote. Drop kick to the back of the head. Kick to the midsection. Sun drop. Make it his way to the top rope. Oh, with the shooting star press. Two, three. Sun drop is your winner. All right, Sundrop, congratulations on that victory. And now we're going to move on to a large six-man tag match with the Asylum versus the Camp. Um, 
so this was supposed to be the resistance versus the camp. But at the last minute, I decided to put InfoWarrior's title on the line and do Yuri Day's matches, get them out of the way. Because, you know, with the hurricane, I got kind of pushed back in my schedule. So we put Yuri Day's matches on the same card as the women's tag final. Um, with that being said, I didn't want InfoWarrior to have to fight in two matches. Especially when his title's on the line. I know it's it's not quote-unquote fair that Yuri's going to have to fight in two matches. But Yuri knew what he was getting into. The Info InfoWarrior would have been caught off guard. Um, because I literally put this match together yesterday. Yesterday or day before, something like that. Um, so with that being said, uh, I went ahead and took the resistance out of this. And I put, uh, the Asylum in there. So you got Insanity, he's got his back turned to us. And then you have the Cold Bloods, Reptilian and Chameleon respectively. Uh, should be a fairly solid match. Um, the Cold Bloods are a little, a little on edge right now because they lost their tag titles Friday. Uh, understandably so. But realistically, like, the, the combined championships in this match. So, the Mass Saboteurs were tag team champions at one point. The Cold Bloods were tag team champions at one point. Victor Sokolov has been the hardcore champion, I believe. And the INCW heavyweight champion. Uh, Insanity has been the prospect champion. The INCW heavyweight champion. Um, th there is equal championship reigns on both ends of the aisle in this match. So uh, ho hopefully it lives up to the hype that I'm, I'm putting out there right now. I know, my, I, know I don't sound hype, but you, you got to just take it in. You got to take it in. You got to realize, man, this... There's a lot going on here that's it's pretty intense. Water is the true nectar of the gods. Cold Blood's making their way down here. Could have sworn I had them in the stable, but I guess I was wrong. I lost the voice Friday night, man. I lost my voice last week for sure. <clears throat> Susan Ray is not accompanying the uh, asylum to the ring. She, uh, since she has her own match later on tonight. Makes sense. She wants to stay in the back. Just keep her head in the game. Go over some strategy with Lady Madness. I was about to say, who is this? And then I remembered. Insanity, the leader of Asylum. Too good to come out with his own people. This man has changed. Not just his hair color. Not just his hair color. Not just his face paint. Not his attire. Like, this man has just changed. Insanity, the leader of H. <laughs> getting his ass kicked. Uh, the leader of getting his ass kicked. <laughs> wow.
Also, uh, be sure to let us know, or let me know, uh, when your birthday is, if you are in interested in, uh, doing your own birthday card. Um, I can't, I can't necessarily guarantee we would do it on your birthday, like have the stream on your birthday. Uh, but I mean, we can get it out on not a Sunday. Uh, if your birthday falls during my down season, um, it may be a little bit more difficult to get one rolling. But at the same time, I know that's not your fault. Uh, so I would be willing to accommodate if I have time and ability to do so. Um, the way I do my birthday streams is... Uh, all championships can be contested except for the NWC championship. Can't fuck with that one. Um, yeah, other than that, that's about it. Alright, if you want me to stream INCW with a green screen and a camera for your birthday, then you're going to need to purchase me a camera and a green screen. Because, uh, ain't happening right now. We got Victor Sokolov. Victor Sokolov actually has a little bit of heat with InfoWarrior right now. Uh, I'm not going to spoil anything, but he's got a little heat with InfoWarrior. And if you want to know why, you should really go watch the birthday stream. Uh, just a friendly notice, uh, as someone who's been in the ring against all three of these individuals, um, InfoWarrior might need to watch his back. Uh, the resistance may be needed now more than ever, because he, InfoWarrior may or may not have inadvertently made an enemy. Just watch this match and then go watch the YouTube match and you'll understand. Or if you've already seen the uh, if you've already seen the birthday match, just watch this match. You'll understand. Alright, and here we go. Ooh! Clothesline out the gate. <coughs> Mass Saboteur number one. I'm gonna try to keep I'm try to keep track of him again this time too. Mass Saboteur number one getting beat up by the entirety of Asylum. Door number one is up and down with a backbreaker. Caught the back body drop. I don't know how smart it is to keep Chameleon over there in friendly territory. Chameleon gonna make him regret his decisions to keep him over there. No! The mass saboteur manages to fight free at the last minute. And tosses him. Big suplex. Fireman's carry takeover by the Mass Saboteur. Ooh! Vicious gut punch. Short, not pretty, nothing special, just super effective. A couple of elbows to the gut. And insanity. Sends the saboteur into the corner. Once again, he fights his way out. Ha or not insanity. Uh, chameleon. God dang. wonder how long I've been doing that. Chameleon has a hold of the saboteur. Sa oh, and the ref is down. Insanity taking advantage of it. Snuck a cheap shot in there real quick. And a double bo back body drop. Saboteur number two is tagged in. Lariat, double sledge. Oh, 
with a big right forearm right to the face of Insanity. Insanity fights back. Catch a jawbreaker with the flying forearm and the kip up. Kick to the midsection. Focusing hard on the mass saboteur's arm. Oh! Goes right after Victor Sokolov and brings him in the hard way. Insanity making enemies in this match with the quickness. Ducks the Lariat. Sends the Mass Saboteur number two into the corner. Tags in Chameleon. Insanity throws Chameleon. Both Chameleon and Reptilian are very short and very compact. They're like it's like a mini brick walls or refrigerators. Mass saboteur number one is in, and a stomp right to the fingers of Chameleon. You gotta think Victor Sokolov is gonna want in this match with the quickness. Saboteur with the European uppercut. Oh. Blocked. The belly to belly suplex was blocked. Mass Saboteur number one sent into the corner. Tags in Reptilian. Reptilian to the middle rope. And a sledgehammer right across the arm. Kick to the midsection and a clubbing blow to the back. Has the Mass Saboteur up in the air. Oh, knee to the head. The Mass Saboteur fights his way out. Has Reptilian up with the backbreaker. Vicious blows right to the side of the head. Has that camel clutch locked in, but the foot was under the rope. There are rope breaks and a six-man tag. Ain't going after the arm. Has the full Nelson applied into a full Nelson slam. Has him up and the wheelbarrow throw. Big clothesline. Once again, the Mass Saboteur has him on the ropes. Clubbing blow to the back. Oh, and a high knee sends Reptilian careening over the top rope. We got both Saboteurs keeping an eye on Reptilian. And locked up. Reptilian fighting free. Couple of shots to the midsection. Ooh, and a boot. Kick to the midsection again. Ooh, and with the bell clap. Oh, straight right shot. Referees at a count of six. Oh, Reptilian sent into the ring apron or the ring post. Referee at a count of seven. Oh, referee at a count of eight. Referee at a count of nine. Oh, we're. Wow! The camp won. The camp won by count out. Nefarious means. Oh, wow, that was dirty. That is some of the dirt. Oh, my God. Oh, the Asylum cannot be happy about that. The high knee. That's where it all started. Wow. The camp at their fucking worst again. Oh my God. I honestly didn't expect that. S 
celebrating victorious <laughs> they said insanity in his team isn't worth an actual match damn that's disrespectful I can't agree more I honestly can't agree more next up we have Yuri Day in his second contest his second match of the night going for the INCW heavyweight championship Yuri Day from St. Petersburg Russia against the absolute most American on the entire roster, Info Warrior. You've already seen what Yuri Day is capable of throughout the uh, Prodigy tournament, throughout uh, in the uh, Iron Man match uh, against uh, Jimmy Teller. Um, what? Well, how do y'all think he's gonna fare against the Info Warrior? <laughs> Yuri is not the best man. There is a best man, and it's not Yuri. Is it Yuri Day? Yes, it's Yuri Day. But it is not the best man. We already have one of those. All right. We are fired up here. We have heavyweight championship implement, uh, what is it? Um, I don't know, man. The, the heavyweight title's on the line. Yuri with his flat cap and his button down. But improper wrestling attire. I appreciate people who treat hardcore matches like hardcore matches and proper wrestling matches like proper wrestling matches. So there is no women's tag title, but the finals of the women's tag tournament is the next match. So you did not miss it. Also, we are at double digits once again. There will be a giveaway. Do not, I cannot believe I have to say this. Do not leave the chat. Don't leave it. Info Warrior doesn't take super crack and he he knows he's gonna bring the best out of Yuri. <laughs> yeah, apparently we gotta have Jimmy Teller tested. Yuri Day, everybody. This could be his chance, his big breaking moment. I think next week uh, we'll do the we'll start the tag team tournament uh, because we really need a number one contender for the tag titles now. I'm sure the I'm sure the alliance would love to face off against anyone. Info Warrior making his way down to the ring. Got that brand new Info Warrior branded INCW heavyweight title. So I start mentioning that we, every time I mention there's a giveaway and y'all shouldn't leave the chat, the chat dropped back down to single digits. What's happening? Info Warrior with the don't tread on me title. Yuri Day, looks like he's ready. 
He already had one match tonight. Is he gonna be able to? Uh, is he gonna be able to make it through this one? So I just noticed that Info Warrior has the exact same tattoo as an individual by the name of Killer Cross. Who's currently out with an injury. This is going to be the stuff of legends. I had to say it really loud because it was in all caps. Look how big Yuri Day is though. Like we've already went over this. This dude was like 7'4". Two out of three falls. Yuri Day versus Info Warrior. Yuri Day out the gate with that rotating forearm. He is all fired up. He is ready to show the world that he is worthy to be in there with the heavyweight champ. Yuri Day, oh, with the clothesline. Big close. Oh, knee to the gut. Info Warrior knows how to take the bigger opponents down. Setting something up here. Oh, with a knee right to the face. Goes for the pin. One. No, just a one count. Showing a little disrespect to Yuri Day. If Info Warrior does what I think he's going to do in this match, I'll let everyone know why. Uh. Boo Yuri, go play basketball. That's that's being vertically vertically insensitive. I don't know. Yuri. Oh, with the snap man. Yuri had, oh my god, look at that, had the pretzel up, oh my god, that looks painful. Yuri, with that elbow drop, showing off to the crowd, ever not flamboyant, but charismatic, there we go. The ever charismatic Yuri Day. Oh! Clothesline has Info Warrior up and the airplane spin. Airplane spin and down goes Info Warrior. Yuri taking a little stroll, looking for that shake, rattle, and roll. Elbow drop. He's got Info Warrior in his sights, got him lined up. Oh, Info Warrior saw it coming. Telegraph the move. He's not the heavyweight champion for no reason. Got the toe kick. Has Yuri up. Oh, into an armbar. Yuri has those long legs. He should be. He should. Oh, no. Info Warrior rolled through. Has rolled with Yuri. Has a hold of that arm. Looking to break it. Ooh, I think I heard it pop from up here. I heard the shoulder pop. Now Info Warrior. Setting up for that 17 or stunner 76! Got Yuri with it! Goes for the pin. One, two, no! Yuri! Yuri kicked out of the stunner 76! He got the shoulder up! And a back body drop! Back body drop! On to Info Warrior, Yuri dragging him to the center of the ring. What's he looking for here? And a Snapmare takeover. Goes for the pin again. One. No, just a one count. It's going to take a little bit more than that to take the Info Warrior down. Yuri loving this little neck breaker right here. That snap net breaker. Flipping net breaker, whatever you want to call it. Info Warrior, what is that? He is he making out with Yuri? Did Info Warrior just kiss Yuri? Well, that was not good. Elbow drop, elbow drop. 
and another elbow drop by Info Warrior. Might have Yuri where he wants him. Clothesline. Runs through with another clothesline. And a springboard. Then off the ropes, Yuri trying to counter. Gets caught again with yet another clothesline. Info Warrior has Yuri. Kick to the midsection. Has him up into that armbar again, looking for the submission victory. No, once again, has Yuri caught up. Good Lord. Mm -mm. Snap the arm. Got that arm trapped, snapped it. Yuri with the shoulder tackle. Don't know how he has that left in him. Big forearm shot. Info Warrior again. The overhand. Info Warrior with the a twist of fate center. One, two, three. What is this? What what why is this happening? Uh excuse me? Why are we looking at replays of the match? What is actively going on here? It's two out of three falls. What is going on here? Wow! 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 Two out of three falls! What? It, uh, the ref is fired. The ref is immediately fired. Right now. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, that's, you know what, that's cool. We, we've had, <sighs> we've had bullshit rest before. We're, we're going to fix this. We're going to fix that real quick. Um, anyways, I apologize to Yuri. I apologize for all of that. That was hot, uh, fucking 100% trash. One hundred percent trash all the way not ninety nine point eight percent trash one zero zero percent trash all right well we're just gonna we're gonna move past this we're gonna get past the nonsense that is what just happened and we're gonna focus on the finals of the women's tag tournament. Now, what I have done is I'm taking, I, I got with both sets of women and I let them know if they're going to be in this, if they're going to participate in this final match, they really have to start coming out together. They've made it this far. They clearly know how to work as a team, specifically Jasmine and uh, Brittany Bennett. Specifically them two know how to work as a team. Jasmine just sits in the back, lets Brittany Bennett do all the work, and then Jasmine comes in and cleans up. So, uh, yeah, we, we're gonna, we're gonna have, they all, they're all coming out together. Uh, definitely, oh, so mad about that last match. So mad. We, we're gonna do something about that. We're going, we're, there's gonna be some special nonsense with that. A commercial in two minutes. Oh, boy. All right, we got Jasmine and Brittany Bennett making their way to the ring. See, I even did a cool little title card for them, so that way they can come out and their names are on there. All the Info Warrior fans. Hashtag you are the resistance. 
<laughs> the ref didn't resist that payoff. All right, and we got Lady Madness and Susan Rays. Info Warrior looking mighty sus. So let's let's be clear here. I, I know people like throwing around the word sus. I really know they do. But man, can I just point out? Never mind. I have an idea. Never mind. Never mind. Don't forget to tune in next week. Alright, here we go. Collar and elbow tie up. We've seen some actual wrestling here tonight. Steroids are illegal by the uh, Louisiana Sports Committee, so don't say that out loud. Referee breaks him up. Collar and elbow again. Jasmine has Lady Madness backed into the corner. Got him split up. And Jasmine gonna send Lady Madness over into the, the business end of the ring. Ooh! Jasmine Wu with the moonsault. I forget that she's that agile. Um, all right, Lady Madness. Oh, wow. Ooh. Slingshot on the bottom rope. I don't know if y'all can hear this, but it really sounds like there's construction going on outside. If you hear that, I apologize. Sweeps the leg and a drop kick. You're watching a condom commercial on INCW because we 100% uh, justify safe sex. Or endorse safe sex, I should say, I guess. Do we endorse them? No, because we don't get paid. But yeah, just have safe sex. Most INCW fans don't need to reproduce anyways. Y'all missing some chromosomes if you're watching me. Anyways... Oh, I don't know how Jasmine got her hit, her her foot that high over uh, over Brittany Bennett. <laughs> wow, that KB chronic. <laughs> yep, that was me. I did it. Couple of elbows to the midsection. What's really cool is I just talked trash about my fan base and the number. Oh, there they go. There they go. <laughs> I was just about to say they didn't drop, and <laughs> like four people just vanished. Sorry, right. I always have my bots. Anyways, Brittany Bennett. Clothesline to Susan Rays. And again, so Susan Rays is not a small individual. Susan Rays is a, uh, like, that's a stocky woman. And, and look at the size of Brittany Bennett. Like, well, actually, let's be clear. All four of these women, none of them are dainty. No dainty women anywhere in this match. They are all tough women. And, uh, well, except for maybe Brittany Bennett. She might be a tough man. Elbow drop. Who, you know what? We may move this to 2020 just so we can see a tag up, a, a team up episode of Brittany Bennett and Average Joe. How would y'all feel about that? Brittany Bennett getting the crap stomped out of her by Lady Madness right now. We legit lost a lot of people. Don't sun drop the soap. God dang. Oh, Lady Madness! What? How did... 
What? That's impressive. I oh my god, I don't know what's going on there. That's a hold. Brittany Bennett. Oh, don't know why she didn't try the elbow sooner. Kick to the midsection. And a drop. Lady Madness tags in Susan Rays. Another clothesline. Brittany Bennett. Oh, with the Luthes press raining down right hands. I'm not going to lie, guys. I honestly think that Brittany Bennett and Jasmine are going to be the ones to walk out of here with the stunner. Stunner by Brittany Bennett. Goes for the pin on Susan. One, two. No, Susan manages to kick out. And Jasmine is all over Lady Madness. High knee. Susan with the twist of fate. Look like she might be going for a kick there. Oh, Brittany with the, the DDT. Taking time to pander to the crowd. Stop Susan from getting over to her corner. Couple of big clotheslines. Ducks it and another. Susan fighting as best she can. Oh no. Brittany may be in for a world of hurt here. Oh! DDT on the apron. I don't care how big you are. Your skull is not built to withstand the corner of the ring. Period. Do not care. Will Susan raise? Will Lady Madness be cool with Oh, no, it wasn't the camp earlier. Will Susan Ray's pull a camp maneuver and uh, get that get that, get that that dub by count out? Guess not. Luthez Press raining right hands down. Brittany pandering to the crowd here. Oh, and bouncing the head. Oh, no. Oh, Susan might be getting ready to catch another stunner. Another stunner by Brittany. Goes for the pin. One, two. Not even a two count because Lady Madness was in there. Jasmine, once again, a little slow to get a hold. Referees at a count of three. Jasmine has still five to get out of the ring. Susan with the snap suplex. And a DDT. Short DDT, keeping the big woman down. Oh, big clothesline. And another big clothesline. If you know the people who left the chat, go let them know that uh, we're about to do a giveaway so they should get their asses in here. Sweeps the leg. Oh, got the figure four. The, the cloverleaf applied. Susan. Susan crawled to the ropes. Rolls through and a big drop kick to the face. Nice reversal by Susan Rays, proving why she is a former, or why she even was the women's champ to begin with. Tags in Jasmine. Jasmine was the one to take the title off of Susan Rays. Susan Jasmine by the hair. Lady Madness. As Jasmine up, dropped her face. Ooh, look, it hung her up in all the ropes on the way down. Lady Madness going for the pin here. One, two, no. Jasmine got the shoulder up. Brittany Bennett is still down on the outside. Lady Madness sends Jasmine to the outside, goes up top. What is she thinking here? Jasmine, I don't know if Jasmine knows what's about to happen. Lady Madness is purged. Oh, wow. Went for a diving headbutt and missed all of it. Face first into the, the mat. Jasmine sent back into the ring. 
Madness. Oh, hung Jasmine out the dry. Got that rear chin lock applied. Will Jasmine submit here? No, Jasmine slides out. Jasmine in the corner, being dribbled into the turnbuckle. Ten counts of the fist, of the turnbuckle meeting the face, rather. Jasmine gets sent back outside. Lady Madness is all over her. Lady Madness looking for that count out victory. And Jasmine breaks free. Lady Madness kicked to the midsection. Referees at a count of three. Jasmine was trying to get back in the ring. Goes for a chop. Referee at a count of five. Oh no, count of five. I, I heard him wrong. Um, or he said five twice. Oh, went for that spinning forearm. Right into the turnbuckle. At a count of seven, Lady Madness sends Jasmine back in. Jasmine jumps and tags in the behemoth. That is Bennett. Bennett with a step-up kick. Big right hand. Oh, no. Drops Lady Madness. Lady Madness might be about to catch a stunner herself. Kick to the midsection and a stunner. Bennett going for the pin. Susan Ray's in to break it up. One, two, and just in time. Oh! Bennett caught, ja uh, caught Susan Ray's with that kick. It's now down to just these two women. Jasmine's down on the outside. Ray's is down on the outside. Bennett and Madness. Bennett with the big clothesline. Madness is still dazed. Oh, got out of the way. Made me eat my own words. Big right hand. Big right hand by Madness. Has her up. What is this? Got the torture rack applied. Will Bennett submit? Will Bennett submit right here? This might be all she wrote. She's been in it for a while. No, Bennett. Madness let go. Madness let go. Couldn't hold on to it anymore. Went for Bennett's legs. Bennett reverses. Jasmine with the jawbreaker. Big clothesline. Madness. Madness has Bennett up. Oh, dropped her back down. Rolls through for the pin. One, two. No, just a two count. Susan Reyes tried to break it up. Madness is laughing. And Bennett taking advantage of Madness being distracted. Kick to the back. And that claw is locked in, just squeezing the hell out of that muscle. Sweeps the leg, does Bennett, or does Madness. In it with the deep arm drag. And a big right hand. Bennett looking for that Luthez press. Missed all of it. Madness. Oh, Bennett has madness up. Pile driver. Pile driver. It's over. It's all over. That's it. Bennett just needs to go for the pin. No. No, she just wants to... She tagged in Jasmine. This is what I'm talking about. Bennett is going to... They're going to lose this match because Bennett's going to give Jasmine the, the victory here. Or try to give Jasmine the victory. Jasmine off the ropes. With a curb stomp. Goes for the pin. One. Two. Three. That, that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Bennett puts in all the work and then gives Jasmine the win.
Oh my god. That was a hell of a contest. Ladies and gentlemen, Jasmine and Brittany Bennett, a partnership forged in the tag team tournament. Jasmine may be on the hunt for that INCW women's championship again. All right. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, once again, I really, I really hate what happened in that heavyweight championship match. So next week we're having a rematch. There will be no referee. It will be an Iron Man. You know what? No, it'll be a rage cage. There is no referee. You just got to knock your opponent out. Info Warrior versus Yuri Day in a two out of three knockout match. That should do it. No referee involved. Uh, be sure to stick around, though. Keep that in mind. Also, we're going to open up the show next week. Y'all gonna love this. With a new elimination-style battle royale. It is called the Sus Royale. That's right. The Sus Royale. Dig that. So, with that being said... Tune in next week for the Sus Royale. Tune in next week for, uh, I don't know. Um, yeah. Info Warrior versus uh, Yuri Day Part 2 in the main event in a rage cage. Tune in for all that. And, man, I've thrown this entire outro out. I don't know what's happening. I keep looking up to the stars. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm KB Chronic, and y'all be sure to have a good one.